So I'm out here today at the 30th annual Bill Clawson consignment auction. Basically what it is is an auction that takes place every year in southern Manitoba where everyone brings their junk and people buy it for some reason. So sometimes people overspend, sometimes they get a good deal. We'll see what happens today. So a lot of stuff here is uh, mainly farm equipment. But as you can see behind me, there's also a car lineup. So that's kind of why we're interested in coming to this. If we can get a good deal on a vehicle, then we got another project to build. There's also a lawn and garden section here too. And I'm pretty sure 50 to 75 percent of this stuff has been auctioned here at least once before. Take uh, this old garden tractor for instance. This actually used to be my dad's eight years ago. I know because I put that hood scoop on there. And we sold it at an auction about eight years ago, so here it is. We've got an old Coke machine here. I opened it up and found a buck fifty. And this one should be interesting. We got a brand new two post car hoist. Tool chests. Every year it seems like they have these brand new tire machines and wheel balancers. I don't know where they get them from, but they're always new in box and they always sell for way too much. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I'm glad I drove the Jeep today because there's no parking lots out here. Just a field in the middle of nowhere. Well, sounds like bidding's about to start, so let's get to it. So I just tried bidding on something that looked like an old uh, antique trunk or a chest. Uh, you could tell that it wasn't authentic though, it looked like it was just pieced together with plywood and stuff. But people were bidding on it as if it was authentic, so as soon as the bidding hit $30, I stopped and walked away. Now I'm looking for an old military uh, gas can. I can't seem to find it here anywhere. I saw it here the other day, but now it's just gone. So either someone stole it or I missed it. So it's almost the afternoon now. Haven't bought anything yet, but I think Tim's on his way here and he's gonna bring me some coffee. So looking forward to that. So just checking out this 98 CRV with a five speed manual. 428,000 kilometers on the clock and as I'm looking through it I found two dollars and fifty cents in the change box so that's a win all right so my good buddy Tim is here brought me a cup of coffee so I'm hydrated again it's true yeah yeah he just had to stop by and pick up some car parts for uh, the SR20 what are yep. we doing later uh, we're probably gonna put a new built SR20 into the Sylvia so that's exciting yeah so Tim's gonna head home now and we're gonna meet up later and finish that project. Chill. Well, I just picked myself up a 10 foot metal workbench for a thousand bucks. Kinda more than I wanted to spend, but still a good deal. So we'll make good use of it. Now I gotta figure out how to get that thing home because we don't have a truck. Maybe I'll buy one, we'll see. Here's a quick look at the workbench. Should be able to make good use of that, that's for sure. So they're doing about five different auctions at once now. They just started doing the row with the cars, but they're also doing the row with some uh, paving stones and some lumber that I'm interested in. Which kind of sucks because I'm only one person, I can only be in one place at a time. So let's hope it works out for me. So I've had like... I don't know, 10 people ask me already while I've been looking at the cars what a TOD is. So definitely a lot of inexperienced people uh, bidding on vehicles today. So I'm hoping that by the time they get to the vehicle I want, everyone's spent all their money already. Otherwise I'm going to be overspending, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So they've sold through about half the cars already. There's definitely a lot of inexperienced buyers here, this Mini Cooper behind me just sold for $3,000. They don't even know if it runs. The battery was dead, so someone got ripped off. So that CRV I wanted just sold for two grand, which is ridiculous. 
because I know of one online which is exactly the same as that one with a safety which means you can register it right away for two thousand dollars so someone got ripped off on that one too so the auctions pretty much over now I've passed everything that I'm interested in so all together I spent about fifteen hundred bucks I got myself that nice metal workbench and also got some nice paving stones for around the house so I'd call that a success now the big question is how I'm gonna get all this stuff home I think uh, Tim's dad has a truck that we're gonna be able to borrow but we'll see if that's big enough to take everything home well I got as much stuff loaded up into the Jeep as I can and now I'm waiting on Tim to get here with his dad's truck and we're gonna try loading up my big workbench slash tool chest so that should be fun <laughs> 